Expert beekeeper and comb honey producer Lloyd Spear helped us with this video. We're going to show you a few details for the prep and some hive setup details at the end. In order to put cut comb foundation into your cut comb frame, you'll need this one item that you can make yourself easily out of a two foot long two by six and two nails. And the nails are number eight nails, uh, half inch apart, two and a half inches long. And this is a one and a half inch piece of wood. After you've made your top bar spreader, clamp it to a sturdy work surface. You'll also need a stapler. So we put the slot on top of the points of the nails and put it all the way down. And then you slowly turn it. Oh, that noise. <laughs> it's okay. Cut cone foundation is very, very fragile because it's extremely thin. Because a human will end up eating it. The purpose of the tissue paper is to keep the foundation sticking together, the sheets of foundation and insert it into the slot that you made. Then very carefully lift one end. Because I'm right-handed, I tend to lift the right end first. Off the nail, gently, because you don't want to take it all the way off. You just want to lift it so that the foundation drops in through the slot and touches the board. And then when it's, when it's there and touching, you pull it, it's off the nails. When you were lifting, were you pinching the foundation at all with your finger? No. Okay. Just lift it. Gotcha. It's very important that this foundation be slightly above the slot and that's maybe an eighth of an inch and you want that. So then you take your stapler, hold the slots cl closed and push down hard. And it's now closed. Now it'll be slightly open on the, on the sides so you do the same thing again on each side. You want three staples in each frame. Squeeze it again. Now, you notice that it doesn't touch the bottom. And what's more, it doesn't touch the sides. Now the bees will draw it straight to the bottom and fasten it to the sides. So you need not be concerned about that. Now, then when that's full, you cut out pieces with a knife, literally with a knife. Generally four inch pieces, by the way. Four inches each direction. Now, what that means is you're left with an empty frame, because you've taken the honey out of it, but the top where you insert the foundation is filled with comb. And you obviously have to clean that out or you can't put a new place foundation in. So this is the best tool for that. You put the frame back on the, on the nails. You twist it again. Put this in there and scrape. 
and you will get out almost all the wax. And you want it absolutely clean. If you don't get it absolutely clean, the new foundation can be very difficult to get in. Lloyd always uses a deep over a medium as the brood chamber. Just before dandelion started blooming, we put on two supers uh, with drawn comb uh, above a queen excluder. So now it's mid-May, uh, meaning it's about a week after dandelion started blooming. We take off the outer cover. We pay close attention to the bottom super. We want this to be two thirds full of nectar. Uh, then we'll take the top super off and we put it on another hive. Uh, this super, which is about two thirds full of nectar, we set aside. Then we put our comb honey super on. The comb honey super is striped, so when we go into a bee yard, we instantly know where all the comb honey supers are. They look different than any other supers we have. Good system. Then we put the super that's two thirds full back on. Put the inner cover back. And the bees will want to continue to fill this super. And they'll have to go through the comb honey super to do it. And that, since we took a super off, that encourages the bees to start drawing this out. We'd like to have the comb honey supers completed, uh, full, sealed by the end of June. And again, that super that's set aside there, that was on the top. That, that goes on any other hive. Okay. That was a less finished extracting super. Right. We don't worry about the bees that are in it. Any foragers that are in it will go back to this hive. Yeah. And uh, nurse bees won't be in it. Because it's above a queen excluder and there's no brood. That's right. All right. Thank you, Lloyd. Thanks, Lloyd. <laughs>